So listen, we need to talk. I gotta, I gotta put the mom voice on. And you know I hate doing this. This is quite literally the worst thing that I hate doing this. I hate putting my teacher and mom voice on with you guys. But it's just like, if I don't say this, Megan might quit. Not really, but really. Or she might end up on an episode of Snapped. Okay, so really quickly. Situation is, Megan spent about two to three hours yesterday of her time answering intercoms that were crap. Crap. Things that she said the majority of them was people saying that they didn't get the correct item in their grab bag, or I'm sorry, the correct amount of items in their grab bag. There were some complaining that they got nothing for free, which I never guaranteed. There were some complaining that they only got one item, which I also never even said you were getting more than one item. It literally says in there that we're giving away X amount of prizes, which is literally thousands of dollars worth of prizes, but it does not entitle you or guarantee you to get a prize or to get extras or to get anything. Plenty of people have posted that they got their grab bags and one in there and they were thrilled about it. Why? Because they got a pair of jeans for $44 instead of $68. All of the grab bag items are discounted. Okay. Like all of them, $22 shorts, $20 tank tops. Like you guys know our typical stuff is literally like you know, $38, $40 for a tank, you know, $68, $70 for jeans. Some of the jeans are $80. Um, what else do we have? Tank top, you know, uh, bralettes, typically $20, $30. Um, dresses are like $24, $26, I think. And our dresses are upwards of $50. Um, layering pieces were $30. And those are upwards of $50, $60. So you're already getting a brand new piece at a discounted price, okay? I feel like that's a fucking win in itself, and pardon my French, but I feel like it's a win in itself. I walked through Target, okay? I go to Target every single day. Maybe not, but I do go multiple times a week to Target, okay? I love Target. A bitch loves card Target. And I go, you guys know I get their swimsuits. You know I go browse through their clothing section. And Miss Caitlin and I went to Target when we were in, wherever the hell we were, Dallas, and we walked through and the clothes were more expensive than my grab bags and they were scratchy as shit. Like they were not comfortable. The sizing was wonky on most of it and it was not great. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I gotta scout, I gotta make sure, right? So while Target sweaters might be $40 and mine might be $55, $60, it's that quality. It's also going to a small business and not to a corporate, uh, you know, like a corporation big box store. So I would just like to throw it out there that I feel like the prices on the grab bags are still themselves. And I would really, and Megan would really appreciate it if y'all would not intercom in with crap like that. I only got one piece. Okay, can somebody please inform me in any of my grab bag posts where I said you were getting more than one piece of clothing. Nowhere. That's right. Okay. And then number two, can somebody inform me and let me know where I said you are guaranteed to get a prize in your grab bag? Mm, that's right. That didn't happen either. I am very clear with my words. You may get blah, 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 blah. I'm giving away X amount. I literally specifically and exclusively wrote how many things were going out. This many uh, amounts of upcycle Del V, like, you know, four of those, 10 pair of leggings, two people are winning wardrobe. Like I literally write it out, okay? It doesn't ever in there say that you are guaranteed to get more than one piece of clothing and or a prize. I don't even have to give you guys anything. Like I literally am doing you a favor by giving you guys a deal on brand new jeans, 
on, I mean, well, everything's brand new, but I had to, I had to pay full price and order half of these items. Like, it's not like I got this shit discounted. Like I had to buy, as you guys know, the, a lot of the items that you got, I'm going to say 95% of the items were items that we've never even carried before. With the exception of bralettes, because there's only a certain amount of bralettes that I can get. Okay. Some of them I literally broke even. I basically paid for you to shop. So I'm like, I adore all of you and I appreciate you guys, but I would appreciate it more if you just read before you intercommed in. We get a lot of intercoms of things that are already answered on the app, on the website, like, you know, um, just anything and everything. What's your return policy? What is this? What is that? It's all listed literally on Facebook, on both Facebook groups, on the Facebook page, on our app, and on our website. You have like literally five different ways to look at our policies. So could you do me a favor and just read the policies? Um, so then that way, we can appropriately and efficiently help you because Megan wasted like three, if not more hours of her life emailing these people back things that they could have read themselves. It takes time. Even if she copy and pastes answers, it still takes time because she has to go. She goes in to, to, um, she goes in to, um, confirm the order um, to make sure that like it wasn't during, I don't know, a freebie live when we were supposed to put freebies in. She doesn't want to just give a generic response. So she needs to go in and confirm every single order and make sure that she's not giving the inappropriate response. I didn't do this out of the f good free will of my heart. Megan had asked me, and if Megan had asked me to do something like this, then she's frustrated and she never gets frustrated. So I'm like, thank you, Heather. So I'm like, literally. So Gloria, that is literally what I say all the time. I'm like, dude, you don't go to Target and get stuff for free. You ain't going to Walmart and getting stuff for free. Like, yeah, you could get a good discount, which I gave you in the grab bag to begin with, right? But you don't get anything for free. I do it because I like you guys and I always want to show my appreciation. And it's because when you guys spend money, I get it. Instead of pocketing it and taking it for profit for myself, I give it, I give a lot of it back to you or to the community, which you guys are fully aware of. I give it back to my employees in forms of bonuses, in forms of a good livable uh, salary, et cetera, et cetera. I don't take it and pocket it for myself. Um, I understand that that is my choice, but I would really, really, really appreciate it if you... And not all of you, because clearly it's not all of you. But if she had 30 to 40 emails to answer yesterday, it's a lot of people. If people would just read and pay attention to what they are purchasing. Like people are like, where's my stuff? And like it has an estimated ship date of May, like a pre-order. And it literally says it in there. And I'm like, dude, I get that sometimes things might run over. Makeup Junkie, for instance. Makeup Junkie's running a week over. I fully understand that. I reached out to them today. I typically don't bother them until we are a week past. It's getting delivered tomorrow. It will be shipped out next week. And that's Makeup Junkie from middle of February. Well, all of middle, like beginning to middle of February. So I understand that's late. That's my bad. Um, but like people will email a few days later and be like, where's, where's my order? And I'm like, And this is exactly why I don't do customer service because I would literally be just the rudest homie ever because I take all of this to heart because it's literally my salary that I spend <laughs> buying people free things that half of, uh, that people don't appreciate. And I would also like to mention that there are quite a few people who not just now, but previous in the past now have accused us of not sending out gifts. One, it's not a requirement for anybody who receives a gift to post it. It's a gift for a reason. And it, it's, it's a gift. Exactly that. No one is required to post it. Does it, does it help? Yes. Because then people see that it has been, you know, actually sent out, but I can guarantee you about 60 to 70% of prizes and free stuff and whatever that we send out do not get post. I've given out 
probably 20 TVs within the past two years, 20 televisions, 50 inch televisions within the past two years, and maybe five of them, six have been posted. So I don't expect you, I'm not like, yes, you must post it. I know other places like boutiques are like, absolutely like you need to post it, but like, it's not a requirement from us. Um, we've given out hundred dollar credits on the regular. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you wake up to random credits in your account. Every time I post an interaction post where it says like, oh, you might get a free pair of Judy Blue or I'm giving out $50 credit or I'm giving out a hundred dollar credit. I literally do it randomly. I don't announce those because it would literally take me all day. So I'll go in, I'll find, I'll close my eyes, I'll scroll whoever I land on. If they participated, they're getting the credit. They'll get a random Judy Blue thing Show, rent a pair of Judy Blue show up to their house. They'll get a random box of clothing showing up to their house. You know, I think, Sherry, I've given out probably 10 KitchenAid mixers and I think only like two people have posted it, which is fine. But it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I get it. But like, I, I think that you guys, I'm so open with my life that I think you should know me better than that and know that if I didn't do what I was saying, I literally would think that I had the baddest juju on the face of the planet and like I would have diarrhea every day or something. I have too much anxiety for that shit to like be straight lying to you guys. Way too much anxiety for that. I think we all know that by now, right? About me. So it's just like I send it. If somebody doesn't post it, I can't force them to post it. I, You know what I mean? Like there's nothing I can do about it. I'm stressed and I'm going to cry because I apologize. I'm feeling emotional. I'm probably going to my period in a few days too. So, but like I'm doing so much work. This is like the last thing I needed on my plate, but I have to have my employees backs too, because Megan is trying to do a million things as well. And she can't when she's bombarded in the intercom with crap that she shouldn't even be answering. It's like me, like I shouldn't have to be doing this right now. Like I'm taking, you know, 20 minutes and I know 20 minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but I could be doing so much more with my 20 minutes. Matt's not here, he's in Charleston like all week until like eight o'clock at night, he leaves at like 5 a.m. I've got to take on mom. I've got to be doing breakfast, lunch, dinner. My kids are here 24 seven, so I've got to do things with them. I've got my typical jobs. Now I've got this um, new custom line that I have to be handling as well, which is a completely, if you guys are unfamiliar with the clothing business, it's a lot. Running a custom line is literally a full-time job in itself. So I've taken on another full-time role. I was at my computer for 12 hours yesterday. That's why it was late. Doing those descriptions and making sure everything was accurate for you guys so I didn't launch crap. So everything that I was supposed to do yesterday, I have to do today. And I am just stressed beyond belief. This is the last thing I needed to do. I apologize that I'm crying, but like I have literally been running both ends of the candle. I go to bed at four or 5 a.m. I mean, you guys see me on Instagram all day and all night because I quite literally don't sleep. I slept maybe five hours last night, which was great because it was better than the three that I got the night before. So the past 48 hours, I've gotten maybe eight hours of sleep. So I'm tired, but if I don't do my job, then like what I need to do today is something that I needed to do yesterday because the girls are coming down for a photo shoot this weekend. And if I don't do what I need to do today, I don't get a break. I don't get to have that luxury to take a break because if I don't get my stuff done, then, then the girls can't get their stuff done before they leave for the photo shoot, which means we have no clothes for a photo shoot. I paid a thousand dollars for a photographer for nothing because we have no clothing. And then I have nothing to sell down here either because I need to curate four app launches. I need to do um, an entire new selection. I need to add on to an old selection. There's just a laundry list of things that I need to do that I can't do because I'm busy doing 500 other things like this. So I'm literally going to end up on an episode of Snapped with Megan <laughs> shortly. So if we could please... I spent a lot of time writing those policies. I spend a lot of time rewriting because Chelsea does the verbiage, like the rough draft basically, and I do the final edit. I spend all day final editing these things. 
uh, Chelsea spends all day selling and, you know, making me these, these words and, and, um, you know, taking pictures. And it's like every, I post every hour on the hour. I have to final edit 12 posts, if not 13 or 14 a day, which takes like a half hour. It takes like a half hour fully to like full edit post and whatever. That's a half hour every hour. So I have 30 minutes of every hour to actually work, which now I have the kids I have to take care of too. So some of the half hours are already gone. So I apologize for my meltdown. I apologize for being harsh and I apologize for, I wouldn't say getting rude, just being super blunt. Um, but I spent a lot of time doing the verbiage and making sure that it was clear that you would only get like, you know, that you're getting one eye done. And I felt like I was super clear about making sure that it said you may get X, Y, and Z. So it wasn't like you're getting, you know what I mean? Like, so if you could please just read, I would much appreciate that. 